I have uh, quite a lot of slides that uh, have been uh, already shown, so I will try to summarize because sometimes it's difficult to, to, to separate colonic by intestinal barrier, and just to fix the general concept about the barrier. Um, today I was doing my IBD clinic, and uh, one of my patients asked to me why I got uh, ulcerative colitis. So I was studying the barrier, and so I started to tell uh, her, well, probably you have a derangement of uh, your microbiota, but possibly, probably also the in mucosal immune system, perhaps your mucus. So there's a lot of possibility that uh, uh, can trigger uh, in a patient the development of uh, chronic inflammation in, in, in the colon. And this is just a summary of what has been told today. There are a lot of components, biological, chemical, physical, that all together play a role in the integrity, but also in the, the uh, triggering of, of, of inflammation in the colon. Uh, I don't want to stress uh, what is human microbiota, because as been told uh, today a lot of time, is not only intestines, but is also mouth, is va vagina, is skin, is airways, and uh, there are a lot of uh, 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 cells, a tenfold greater number of microbial than human cells, that weight approximately more than one kilo, so is a meta-organ uh, uh, in, in, in our body. And the distribution of bacteria, just starting from the inner layer, uh, uh, is different from uh, uh, every gastrointestinal tract. Being the colon, the uh, uh, big reservoir of, uh, of, uh, of microbes, and uh, 10, 2, 10, 6 colony forming unit per milliliter of uh, yeast, and 10, 4, 10, 12, colony forming unit of bacteria and different uh, phylum of bacteria uh, that may change uh, 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 according to uh, health or disease condition, and we will see briefly in, in the next slides. Uh, a lot of function, as uh, Giovanni and Antonio told before, uh, specific in each gastrointestinal tract, and just start uh, with uh, some possible hypotheses uh, on what happened in, in colonic inflammation. Um, it's difficult to, uh, to say uh, from uh, uh, what uh, uh, is starting uh, uh, the problem, but probably the interaction between uh, genes and the microbiome and diet, lifestyle, stress, as, as uh, uh, we uh, have already uh, uh, um, listened before, may influence and de determine a sort of taxonomic uh, dysbiosis inside the intestine, then, then uh, 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 with all the consequence uh, uh, inside the mucosal immune system uh, that is uh, triggered uh, by genetic predisposition in patients, for instance, in this case, uh, uh, that will develop Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. And uh, just to stay uh, uh, in my field, uh, I would like to show uh, one of the first study uh, was a clinical study on uh, 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 twins uh, that got uh, both uh, uh, Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. And as you can see, it, it was demonstrated by this, this, uh, uh, this Danish-Swedish uh, court, an increase uh, according to uh, IBD phenotype uh, of uh, some uh, phylum of bacteria and a decrease of other phylum, the famous Fecalibacterium prasnitzi, was uh, increased in colonic Crohn disease with respect to uh, ileal Crohn disease, and in people with UC with respect to people, people with ileal Crohn disease in the first slide, both in feces, then in, in ileal and colonic uh, uh, biopsies. And as you can see, Roseburia hominis was found to be increased in people with inflammatory bowel disease of the colon irrespective of Crohn's or colitis phenotype. And uh, uh, later on, uh, other study documented that in, in inflammatory bowel disease, uh, uh, in this case Crohn disease patient, there was a sort of confirmation of a, uh, a sort of decrease of uh, uh, Fecalibacterium prasnisi uh, 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 colony forming unit and uh, uh, an increase of other uh, bacterial uh, genera. And uh, similarly, in patients with ulcerative colitis, this is a very a recent study just published, it has been shown a, a, a decrease of butyrate-producing uh, species, species like Roseburia hominis, 
and it is uh, important, the butyl, the butyrate for the uh, colonic uh, uh, integrity, with respect to uh, control subject. And as you can see, the difference was uh, 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 even ev ev evident according to the disease state uh, uh, of the patient, if quiescent or moderate or severe ulcerative colitis. Just uh, going down and uh, just uh, uh, on the membrane, this is a very famous slide. This is the fourth time that we show this slide. Uh, the mucus. Uh, the mucus in the colon is uh, 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 directly proportional to the content of bacteria. The, in the colon epithelium, there is the higher concentration of uh, uh, goblet cell, mucin producing uh, cells, because this is the higher concentration of, of, of bacteria uh, uh, with respect to other intestinal segments. Uh, we learn uh, that uh, the uh, major part of the mucus is constituted by water, but the important is that the mucins, and the mucins may vary uh, according to the intestinal tract. In the, in, the, in the large intestine, at least the gel-forming mucins are mainly expressed as are MUC2 mucins, and they may contain also a lot of uh, uh, non-specific and specific antimicrobials. And just uh, to uh, let you know, uh, uh, just a, a sort of a very basic structure. Uh, the mucus molecule is a, a sort of a peptide constituted by a peptide backbone on which a, a molecule of serine uh, or threonine insert and uh, according to an elongation uh, uh, of uh, uh, oligosaccharide, uh, the chain, the mucus chain is constituted. And in the colon, uh, uh, the, mucus, uh, the mucus thickness is around 100 mi micron and uh, very important, uh, the superficial part of the mucus, the inner part uh, uh, the, of the mucus is loosely uh, packed, allowing bacteria to penetrate, but generally speaking, in a uh, uh, health condition, bacteria are not allowed to penetrate in the tightly packed uh, uh, mucus uh, just uh, uh, in contact with the epithelium. And uh, as a general hypothesis, in the, uh, um, in the, in the uh, left part of the figure, uh, there is a sort of a st schematic representation of, of uh, 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 different association between the mucus gel layer and microbes. There is a sort of uh, 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 action of commensal bacteria that could uh, have a mucolytic uh, uh, effect, and uh, uh, with the production of uh, short-chain fatty, ac fatty acid that may act as a nutrients for the bacteria itself and also for the epithelium. When the equilibrium is deranged, probably pathogenic bacteria with the mucolytic uh, 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 enzymes may penetrate inside the uh, inner and, uh, and the lower uh, uh, layer of the, mucum, the mucus and then into the epithelium. And it has been shown uh, in uh, disease states uh, like uh, ulcerative colitis, a clear disease, uh, chronic inflammatory disease of the colon, that uh, uh, um, there are some uh, particular uh, uh, bacterial species uh, that, are, uh, 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 that possess uh, mucolytic enzyme that have been found increased in patients during uh, ulcerative colitis. Uh, very famous light also this one, just to uh, pass and, uh, and to stress the importance of tight junction in patients with inflammatory bowel disease. It has been told before that uh, intestinal permeability has been found uh, uh, increased in patients with Crohn disease and ulcerative colitis, but also in relative of patients with Crohn disease and ulcerative colitis. And as you can see in this uh, summary, in, in, uh, there are a specific uh, 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 alteration of uh, clouding, occluding uh, 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 in patient with a, a crown of the sigmoid colon and in patient with ulcerative colitis according to the cytokine pattern and to, the, uh, and to a decrease uh, epithelial resistance uh, uh, in this uh, uh, disease condition. And a possible theory uh, also here is difficult to understand if it is a primary defect of tight junction in patients with inflammation of the colon or the secondary to, to, to uh, 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 dysregulation of immune response, but it's a sort of uh, 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 chronic loop uh, in which inflammation uh, activates uh, uh, intracellular pattern that uh, causes the derangement of tight junction and allow pathogenic bacteria to penetrate uh, and so perpetuating the uh, inflammatory stimulus. Um, just to uh, briefly mention uh, uh, another component of the uh, uh, colonic and gut, generally speaking, uh, barrier, it is the mucosal immune system. Uh, 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 just uh, uh, to stress the fact that the, the most important cells 
uh, at the frontiers of the, of the barrier are dendritic cells, uh, dendritic cells that uh, um, sense uh, the uh, antigen uh, present in, in the lumen, and uh, uh, there is a sort of described uh, luminal uh, pathogen-associated molecular patterns. It is a sort of uh, uh, bacterial uh, and uh, components and uh, that are able to sense specific uh, pattern, recognition, re pattern recognition receptors and in normal condition, uh, tolerance uh, allow to uh, uh, the establishment of a sort of subclinical uh, 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 inflammation. In case of uh, disease, uh, obviously there are uh, genetic predisposition, uh, luminal uh, uh, derangement of, of bacteria that uh, cause uh, um, chronic inflammation uh, because of uh, alteration of mucosal immune uh, answer. And uh, uh, a possible model of, of, uh, of uh, uh, maintaining uh, subclinical inflammation in people without any kind of colonic disease is the uh, model, the animal model of, uh, for bacteroides fragilis mediated protection from disease induced by Lycobacter hepaticus in which bacteroide fragilis producing polysaccharide sense dendritic cells inside the uh, epithelial lumen, uh, sorry, inside the epithelium. Dendritic cells uh, act presenting uh, antigens to naive T cells that act uh, just uh, regulating uh, the balance between Th1 and Treg, increasing the stimulation and the production of interleukin 10 that uh, counterbalance the uh, uh, um, pathogenic activity of Helicobacter hepaticus. Just is only a model to explain how uh, 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 subclinical inflammation is maintained in, in case of health condition. And this is another uh, theory of, of inflammatory well disease that I don't want to stress uh, again because I think that I finished my time. And just to conclude, uh, this is another very famous slide today, but just I want to stress how it's important the vascular systems in maintaining the integrity of the, of the mucosal barrier and how it's important also in disease state. Uh, just to, uh, I would like to focus on, on adhesion molecules adhesion molecules that allow the uh, 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 migration, migration of uh, uh, inflammatory cells uh, from the uh, lumen of the microvessels to the inflamed tissue. And just to let you know that uh, this year, uh, for the first time, another non-anti-TNF molecule have been approved for the treatment of patients with Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis the uh, anti-integran alpha-4, beta-7, bedolizumab, that uh, has been shown uh, to be efficacy uh, in, uh, in the treatment of these two kinds of disease, probably acting, uh, avoiding or reducing the tethering, the rolling, the, integ the integran activation, the adhesion and the epidesis of leukocyte inside the inflamed area. Thank you very much.